Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool film border effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like, or this is what the effect looks like. It creates really cool split vertical effect, like three ways, three ways split vertical effect. It's definitely a pretty cool um, effect. And just to warn you, or be just to let you know that this is a plugin, and it actually does cost money. Um, it's from a, a plugin bundle by Ryan Nagel called the New Wave Bundle, and it does cost twenty dollars. However, this is not the only thing that comes with the plugin is a whole bunch of different effects but this is one of them so yes it does cost money and yes it is a plugin so you can have to actually buy it and actually download it separately and install it into Final Cut Pro 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head over to the effects panel right here and let's scroll all the way down right here as you can see here are a whole bunch of effects that comes with the pack and that also comes with a whole bunch of transitions so I'm going to go ahead and take the film border vertical effect apply it to the clip right here and I'm going to go over some of the important settings the first important setting is the blending mode I had it on lighten before and when I watched it back it kind of looked a little bit weird so what I encourage you to do is change the blending mode to screen so that's just something that I did change the blending mode to screen and then you can of course adjust the jitter um, right here basically the jitters if I crank it all the way up I'll go ahead and play it right here as you can see the entire thing um, shakes so uh, so what I like to do is I like to take the, the jitter maybe down to like uh, three or four I find that looks pretty good you can of course adjust it to your liking another thing is the grain you could turn the grain all the way up so if that's the look you're going for uh, by all means do that again two or three I think looks pretty good but of course you can adjust it to your liking now I'm gonna go ahead and find the film burn right here see if I can find the film burn shout the okay so here's the film burn right here now there of course is a whole bunch of other settings you can mess with but let's say you want to turn the film burn the opacity down here it is right here you can turn down the opacity or you could turn the film um, the film burn color right here so you can adjust it if you want like a green fire or blue fire or purple fire you can go home burn whatever you want to call it you can of course adjust that you can adjust the contrast you can mess with a whole bunch the dust amount the on um, the saturated amount you can go ahead and mess with a whole bunch of different settings but I would encourage you to, to turn down the jitter turn down the grain that way it doesn't shake too much or it's too greeny change the blending mode to screen and then adjust the film burn color and the film burn opacity mainly the film burn opacity um, until you get the look um, that you want and you just keep adjusting it again until you get the um, desired look. Another really cool thing that this effect has to offer that I actually didn't even realize when I first got this was you can actually adjust the position. So let's say the shot is like this. Let's say you, you can't really see the person like, you, you think this shot is unusable because he's not in the center. Well you can head over to the position right here and you can actually move the person into the position until you have them lined up. Same thing with the Y you can move it up and down until you get him in the position that you want. You can keep adjusting. So, okay that looks pretty good. So it's a pretty cool effect that I didn't even know um, existed when I first got this. One thing to keep in mind when you're making this effect or applying this effect is you want to make sure the subject is pretty much staying in the same place. For example, if you have a shot of someone running across the screen at full speed, that's going to be really difficult to keep it in keep it in the center. So just something to keep in mind is you probably want a shot where the subject is kind of staying not, not so much center, but staying pretty much in the same place. As you can see right here, Kyler Murray is pretty much staying in the same place. As you can see, Dalvin Cook is pretty much staying in the same place. Um, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Make sure the person is kind of staying in the same place. And this is, this effect is not going to work if you have someone like running across the screen. Probably not going to work that way. Uh, I also would recommend not doing shots super close up because it looks a little bit weird. Um, and that, of course, is you know all up to you. And you can, of course, adjust it to your liking and figure out which one you like. Those are the couple of tips that I have when you're trying to apply this effect to your clip. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one. Peace.